You made it sound like you're going to say the Earth is a globe. I'm going to say that the Earth cannot be flat. So it cannot be flat. So it must be a globe. <laughs> the flat Earth model is has no mechanism. There's no way to explain it. None whatsoever. Now, you, you might say, well, it doesn't change, Jaron, the fact that the ground is measured flat. Yeah, I get that. But also, if there's something that is impossible, that you are just going to say, well, I still believe what I believe, even though it has an impossibility, I have a problem with that. Listen again. Anybody telling you that the 24-hour sun in Antarctica doesn't matter is a liar. Why? Because it's impossible on our mother model. Do you understand that that person is trying to protect something? Now, maybe he's trying to cover his ass. Let's say we go down there and we see the 24-hour sun. Guess who is immediately on my list as the prime suspect shill CIA agent? Eric Dubay. It's the f***er who brought us the map. So of course he's backtracking now. It's the map that he gave everybody. Where did I first see the AE map? Atlantean Conspiracy. Said it from day one. Okay, where did everyone else feel like they got their Flat Earth information from? Eric Dubay. Eric Dubay, who never mentioned Flat Earth before 2014, all of a sudden comes out with a book and has everything figured out come 2015. So, if you can't see what a true shill is, I, I don't know if I can help you. I've always said there isn't a shill in the Flat Earth, but there may be one. No, you're just not, you cannot comprehend that if there's a sun that goes around somebody in Antarctica, then the Earth cannot be flat because how did the sun get to Australia? No, uh, it's anybody with any intelligence realizes that the sun cannot be going around somebody in Antarctica and the Earth be flat. The sun going around your head doesn't match your model. Now, because he's come out with this experiment, now people are saying it doesn't matter if there is. I've been saying there is no 24-hour sun. If there was, then that would be evidence of a globe. Because the, the claim that I heard you say was that a 24-hour circling sun in Antarctica basically refutes the flat Earth. And if I can quote, the Earth cannot be flat if there's a 24-hour sun. Is yeah. that correct? Well, I think we could. Yeah, I mean, that is correct. Then that would call into question our model. No, everyone would oh, no, it wouldn't. We can still be flat no matter what observations we see. There might be 35 suns, Jaron. You don't know that there's not 167 suns, Jaron. And there's sun over here and a sun over there. We don't know. But we don't know what the light in the sky is. Both people are seeing, oh, but Jaron, they could use a sun simulator. You're kidding yourself. Well, what are they going to move it on, on a balloon? Is a little helicopter going to carry around the fake sun and me and Austin are going to be fooled? Oh, is that helicopter above the sun all day? Is that just normal? Yeah, yeah, it's normal here. And then, oh, okay, we well, were just wondering. See, that's the, that's the weird thing to me is Jaron featured my video on unconventional propulsion systems on how the ISS is up there. He watched it on speaker corner and showed his whole following and it's just weird to me that he hasn't once thought of that you know is i it it just it appeared to me that that's his new position now let's talk about a sun a sun simulator let's say they do have the the technology you know if they were to fake it they would be faking it for the people in antarctica and those are the only people that in that region, in that area, those are the only people who are going to see the 24-hour sun that they're faking. You see what I'm saying? 